Good morning, Manihiga. Good morning. Uh, you are CEO of uh, Digital Futures, That's and right. uh, you have a uh, global experience uh, in investment with over 30 years of uh, business growth and uh, strategic innovation, briefly. Mm -hmm. uh, this year at uh, the Paris Open Source Summit, uh, you talk about uh, blockchain and uh, uh, distributed systems. What impressed you about uh, the conference? Uh, I was very impressed by the broad range of disciplines across all the sectors represented here because open source is a key driver of, even of innovation, uh, specifically in the distributed ledger technology and blockchain space, where the technology is moving so fast, if it was developed in a proprietary fashion, it would be too slow or only in specific niche areas. What you need is an industry to come together and agree on standards and collaborate around implementation of a technology that is uh, not going to be easy. Uh, developing these algorithms are difficult, but that's the price we have to pay for cryptographic security and to be able to fully apply these distributed or decentralized even technologies that we envisage in areas specifically like financial technologies, uh, legal technologies, uh, payment processing, digital identity, which I see as a hot button uh, across all sectors because digital identity, not just of people, but of assets and Internet of Things is going to be huge into the future. So it's very encouraging to see all these parties coming together from across the board with a long history and track record of collaboration and pushing the open, open source envelope. Mm. How will uh, the blockchain change uh, our daily life uh, uh, um, a few years, in a few years. The key invention of uh, blockchain and distributed ledger technology is that you can verify and validate information in a very secure way without intermediaries. In other words, in a distributed world, you can have a neutral party, uh, what we call a permissioned or a permissionless third party, verify and validate information, a transaction, a transfer of an asset, a legal contract, whatever the case might be, once we've set up and developed the rules. It's a typical, uh, similar to rules-based databases. It just takes it a step further because it's also time-stamped and is cryptographically secure. So once people understand that, you can pretty much apply it to nearly any environment that has a requirement for a secure database that you could leverage uh, across a broad range of applications uh, where this could uh, uh, be a suitable application. So to give you a good example, um, France has a lot of francophone partners in North Africa, a lot of remittances being sent to by people who work in France and elsewhere to their home countries. Um, what this technology allows us to do is to send money very quickly, very cheaply, and I'm talking about fractions of a cent or pennies, uh, to anywhere in the world. So for people who want to send money or receive money in a secure and a safe way, this really becomes a big deal, is one of the benefits and values of this technology. So it's a direct impact that people are building uh, solutions for and experimenting with as we speak. Some uh, scientists uh, predict uh, the hand of the physical money. Uh, yes. What is your, your prevision? I, I always tell people a nice story. If you're a fan of Star Trek and you stand there on the bridge and you and order a beer on another planet system, you're not going to travel with bars of gold or, or pieces of paper that the people won't recognize. It would have to be digital. We call it tokens. A token could be a representation of an asset, a share, uh, fiat, currency, whatever the denomination is that you prefer and that I think almost certainly in the very near future and I'm talking five to ten years out we'll probably see global adoption of tokenized currencies or digital currencies as we call it. It, it just makes sense. Okay. I hope. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a, it's a uh, great pleasure and thank you for having me here and it's been a great conference. Thank you. Thank you for accepting uh, our invitation, Manigal. Thank you. Cheers. Pleasure.